next up, we have two of the new apps that are going to be released with CityWorks 15.2, the performance budgeting app and another app that we're calling CityWorks Insights. And so to help show what we've accomplished so far with both of those, I've asked Greg Baird to join us on the stage. Both of these apps are still in development, but we really just want to take some time here as part of the plenary and show you where they are to date so you can get an idea of what to expect when they do make it to the commercial release in 15.2. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Greg. Becky, most people do not realize that in the local government budgeting process, it's very, very uh, competitive. Uh, everybody's fighting for that last dollar. When I first heard about the performance budgeting app, I was so excited. This app will help answer the question, what does it really cost to maintain our infrastructure on an annual basis? When we look at the performance budgeting app, it's based on the activity-based budgeting approach which offers a better alignment with asset management and service level analysis. There is functionality to link activities to costs, giving decision makers a better understanding about resource allocation. With the performance budgeting app, we have the ability to draw from templates and consume the estimated equipment, labor, and material costs to develop budgets, as well as using previous budgets to make new budget plans. With the wealth of data provided, endless budgeting reports can be produced, and also the unit costs generated can be used for cost-benefit analysis, as well as life cycle cost analysis. Here I have loaded uh, the group uh, road and bridge, uh, a asset type mowing zone large, and pulled out a template for retention pond uh, mowing large. Um, to provide some background, the app is kind of divided into four components at this point in development. We have the work order template, the maintenance section, the cost and calculations areas, as well as the workload distribution. In the maintenance section, we can see that we have management units, activity codes, and activity programs which have been created. In the cost area, this is a critical area for review and input. For example, our workload is determined by the number of assets, or in this case, retention ponds that need maintenance or mowing. In the calculated data section, the unit costs are calculated and can be refreshed as changes occur. Here you can see crew costs, daily and yearly costs for labor, materials, and equipment. In the work section, the previous year's budget plans can be reviewed and updated. And with this data and input from actual work activity, we can start to review our accomplishments. Included are several predetermined reports to meet your budgeting needs, including comparisons of actuals against targets for benchmarking purposes. Ad hoc reports can also be generated. This report used a summary selection for 2012. And as you can see, it contains a wealth of data which can be filtered and exported for additional analysis and review. With this tool, your budget app allocation process can be transparent, justifiable, as well as defendable. Becky, I believe the CityWorks performance budgeting app will be widely accepted and be used to better align financial and asset management planning efforts. Next up, Greg's going to be covering for us CityWorks Insights, which for us is a pretty exciting tool. It builds off of the information and the functionality that we showed last year with the new maintenance score. And it's going to go ahead, and really the concept here is to provide a consolidated view of the data that's coming in from CityWorks, from your GIS, from your third-party asset management and hydraulic modeling applications, and just giving an overall view that provides a system check of the health of your assets. And so to get into more detail of how we're going to go ahead and provide this functionality, Greg's going to go ahead and dive into CityWorks Insights and give us some examples here. Thank you so much. Uh, Becky, as you know, I love asset management. The asset level, level data really should drive almost every core decision in the asset management planning process. We have to value that data. To understand our assets, we need to know what they are and where they are. And to be able to do this, we need to be able to visualize this data to make better decisions. The new in CityWorks Insights app analytical tool can provide a fundamental first level view of asset risk. This lays the foundation of CityWorks best in class approach, promoting the third party advanced asset management modeling systems like Aesthetic, Innovise, Riva, 
Seteru, and others to perform more complex asset management planning and projection scenarios. Let me quickly run through some of the highlights that demonstrate the system of insights empowering every organization with greater asset management capabilities. So the CityWorks Insight app is made of four components. The setup asset strategy, the setup maintenance strategy, analytics calculations, analytics dashboard. The first step is to set up an asset strategy. So for this demo, we're going to focus on sewer mains. I've selected the sewer assets, the sewer mains, and we have a preset demo be able to set up here. And if we look at the different areas, we have strategy details, and down here at the bottom in risk factors, I have assigned the probability of failure risk score for each pipe type. And the same process, you know, and this was done under the probability of failure, but the same process could actually be done uh, using consequence of failure also. When organizations define a new asset strategy, they can use the web service to import this information from other systems such as Aesthetic or Innovise. Or if there isn't an, another application in place to provide this data, they can specify which fields they'd like to use as the basis for determining the probability of failure and the consequence of failure. Next, by going back up to the, uh, the menu, we can set up under that asset strategy a maintenance strategy. Once again, selecting sewer and sewer mains. In our demo example, we can see where we set up the strategy details. And if I move to the proactive templates, you can see as part of this maintenance strategy, we have selected uh, sewer main uh, hydraulic jetting and inspections. Similar to what was demonstrated before, this can be defined in different groups. This provides an option to configure the recommended preventative maintenance activities at the interval at which they should be applied. As you can see, we have weights and intervals set up for each of these different uh, uh, proactive templates. So you can see that we have this great ability to be able to customize this to uh, each of your individual needs. And you're able to test out and develop different types of strategies. And I just want to point out again, also there, with those maintenance strategies, that's another area in the software where, as Greg mentioned, there's going to be a web service that we're providing. It's a public web service that's part of the CityWorks Insights tool set. And it's going to allow our clients to go ahead and push and pull information between CityWorks and those third-party systems he mentioned, such as Enovise and Aesthetics, Riva and Ceteru. And so with those applications, they often have the development of a maintenance strategy based off of the asset health. Those maintenance strategies can then be pulled in for, through those web services and populated here in CityWorks for the maintenance strategy to be carried out through activities of work orders and inspections in the system. So I've showed how we can click on and, and choose the different proactive templates. Now, as I move to the analytics calculations, it's another area that is uh, highly important and brings in a lot of critical data. And here you can see in the asset calculations definitions, as we choose the sewer mains and the maintenance strategy, we are pulling up. And what you're seeing here is basically the calculation, the detailed calculation results for over 7,000 sewer pipes. At this point, we can see that the unique uh, Identifiers up here includes probability of failure, consequence of failure, the business risk evaluation, and other maintenance score data. Now, if we want to look at some more summary data, we go back to the menu, collect the analytics dashboard, select our sewer and sewer main assets. Now, this provides a wealth of information for the 7,000 sewer pipes, including the distribution of various risk scores. And as you can see here, it's graphically showing each of these different uh, you know, major areas of uh, risk. Now, the dashboard also provides scatter plots. Probability and consequence of failure is actually one of my favorites. 
And it's from the dashboard that the high risk assets identified under various asset maintenance strategies can be selected and viewed in the map. From the scatter plot, I can select either one by one or select a number of different high risk assets, come to the map icon and come over and be able to see where those high risk assets are located on the CityWorks map. And I can see a heat map on that and it can give me the additional detail I need on some of those different assets. So basically from the CityWorks map, you can view the location and details of high risk assets or view it as a heat map. Becky, from an asset management perspective, this is incredible and very easy to do. Uh, if, if you're a GIS professional out there, your asset manager is going to love you for this. Well, and actually, Greg, if you could do me a favor and go back to that CityWorks Insights tab. And you notice there next to where Greg clicked on the map, there is a, a link there for an eURL, enterprise URL, which is the same tool that we discussed multiple times this morning in interaction with the web map. And of course, we want to go through, we want to leverage that same functionality and push it out to the web map. And for us, that means once we've got it in that format, we can then expose it to other applications. And one of the most natural examples of that for us is insights for ArcGIS from Esri. We know that the tool set that we've provided here, it's very consolidated and focused, and your management staff and asset managers are going to want to get into more detail and more analysis, more statistics and charts. And so we're able to go through and provide that through leveraging that functionality and that connection to insights for ArcGIS. And I'm going to ask Greg to go ahead and show how we're doing that. I thought you'd never ask. It's my pleasure. Let me, let me uh, click over into that. Now, this is taking a look at 500 of our high-risk assets using the business risk score in insights for ArcGIS. So this is incredible. We have the opportunities, the opportunity to basically look at some of our major risk scores. Here I'm using the business risk evaluation. We also have the ability to look at it a heat map or some other sort of uh, symbols. The dynamic capabilities here are incredible because we've actually been able to set up four data cards using different types of our data and to then be able to graphically visualize it. But because of it's, all con it's all connected, with a click of a button, dramatic pause here, we can find our high risk business, uh, high, high business risk assets for clay pipes or PVC. So this is, this is very incredible. From the analysis view, the model mapping can be used to create each card, which is viewed, edited, and saved. So when new data is provided, the exact same card calculations can be reused. You also have the power to develop incredibly cool maps and charts. And I know that's why everybody came to the conference this week. And basically, if I come over here to something else we've set up on condition, um, you know, from an asset management perspective, this is just so incredible. Here I have by pipe type and I have the map and I can come over and I can find, once again, dramatic pause. I can see exactly where for my clay pipes, the, the uh, rating score condition is poor. And, and this just goes on and on for the different types of uh, creative analysis that, that you're able to do. These images can be captured and used in asset management plans and reports. CityWorks Insights and Insights for ArcGIS combined create a powerful system of insights. This empowers you to visualize your assets and to understand your asset data. And as we learned from Brian, as an open system, our partners like Aesthetics, Innovize, Sidero, Paver, and others can import their data or export this data uh, for additional advanced asset management, risk modeling, and capital budgeting projections. Becky, this is just ultimate. This is awesome. Thank you, Greg, for sharing all that. I hope everybody here found it as exciting as we do. And that kind of wraps up our overview of some of the new functionality and current functionality available in CityWorks.